when the results load up, we put you right into the completion date distribution chart. And you know, if you're coming from any other tools, you'll be pretty familiar with this. We see the number of iterations um, that the project finished on different dates, uh, plus the cumulative curve here where we see <clears throat> our p-values or different confidence levels. In this case, telling us we finished uh, on or before uh, October 31st uh, with an 80% chance. Um, and we see about a 51 day uh, variance back to our deterministic finish and a 0% chance of hitting our deterministic date. This is really nice. Um, we don't need a, you know, a statistics panel over here because the values are shown right on the chart with the markers. A lot of times you'll see just a marker there and you don't really know. You have to maybe follow your eye down and kind of see it or you pull up the statistics. But you know, this, I really like this about our charts is you can just look right on the chart and see the statistics uh, right built in. Uh, of course, if you do want to show some more statistics, you can do that too. Um, we can use this uh, table over at the left. Um, and let's say we want to pull up uh, maybe a mean uh, mean finish, uh, P50, P80, and the deterministic percentile. And we can set that to auto fit. Uh, so we can see here right for our project level, uh, the, you know, the statistics right side by side. Uh, with the chart and you know even better you can see it for your entire schedule right at a glance and it's another you know benefit of of this table over here is it's not just a, a simple wbs list uh it's actually your, your entire schedule so you can pull up any uh column here uh you know maybe you you want to see what your finish date was uh your start date or your duration um so you can pull it all uh, up right here on this view uh, of course, uh, you can click down and start to drill down into the results. You look at the completion for your design, uh, WBS, uh, maybe for your, your permit activity. And of course, the chart will you know, update right there uh, on the right. Uh, so there's you know, good interactivity between, uh, between the two. You can also zoom in here with your mouse. Uh, just use your scroll wheel uh, if you want to maybe dive into some of the dates a little bit more. Um, so a nice, a nice tip uh, to use your mouse uh, to scroll in. What I'd like to do is show you the criticality, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm running a little short on time, so um, I'm going to breeze through this a little bit. But I just want to show you, uh, we do show you um, your typical tornado diagrams that you might be looking for. Um, I'm going to come filter, filter down um, you know, the zero values a little bit so we can see criticality. Uh, duration, cruciality, so correlation with an activity and the, the project, overall project. Uh, we have priority, which combines the two of those into one to give you a really nice look at you know, which activities are really driving uncertainty in your project. Um, and of course, we can say, well, let's look at the description over here. Uh, what if we just want to pull up the ID? Uh, we can do all of that. Um, and, and finally, we can pull up the risk sensitivity chart. And here's where, you know, if I if I had assigned my design risk on a couple different activities, you'll be able to see, well, what was the impact um, of the risk on, you know, activity A and activity B? Um, or if you want, you can just roll it up and in, into just the the group, the risk at the, the global group level. So here we just see one bar for a design risk. And we can see here clearly from our risk sensitivity that the design is definitely driving uh, the uncertainty in the, the project finish date. Um, you know, but uh, the good thing about this is it shows you what, what risks to prioritize, but it doesn't show you uh, really the savings. And to do that, we want to go to the risk priority chart. We'll go ahead and choose the simulation over here that we ran for the priority. And now we can see on the x-axis actual number of days that we could gain if we were to be able to, you know, completely mitigate that risk. So. Yeah, this is a, really a game changer. Now we can go back to our risk register, create some more mitigation scenarios um, based not just on the qualitative probability impact, but um, you know what we can actually save in the schedule for for uh, the schedule or cost. Um, so I, we do have some cost charts. I'll show you quickly here. Um, I will go ahead and uh, get out of our uh, risk priority group, since we have a lot of simulations, a lot of runs it's showing us, it's, you know, it's pulling up a comparison. Uh, let's just pull up um, our pre-mitigated. We can see, um, you know, the variance to our, our original cost. Uh, we could group this into different buckets. 
Uh, we can also pull up uh, cash flow. So to see, you know, how spending varied over time, how it started uh, kind of ramped up and then and tapered off. And you can see here, uh, this is the 80% confidence level, how, you know, it finishes higher and, and kind of pushes out later. And, you know, all of these charts, they can be formatted. We can change the colors, um, uh, do that right in, in NetRisk uh, before you send it out. And, and you can print these <clears throat> and get them out of the tool for, for any reports. So I, I see I'm you know running out of time. Um, I've just barely scratched the service here. You know Net, NetRisk, we have a whole capability to do non-work modeling. You know uh, probabilistic weather windows for your risks. Uh, floating, of course. Uh, so if you if you watch the keynote, uh, Dr. Gee gave an excellent uh, overview, strategic level of how we're not uh, accounting for the risk of float use uh, during our simulations, uh, which of course is only uh, possible using NetRisk, uh, thanks to the, you know, the GPM algorithms. NetRisk can run a simulation using CPM uh, or GPM, depending on what you're coming from. If you want to do float use, then it'll it'll go through the GPM calculations. Um, you know, correlations, um, you know, a lot of functionality here. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed the demo. Um, you know, we're a brand new product. Um, we've uh, got multiple US patents and, and a lot of really exciting innovations coming up here in the pipeline, like how to, uh, you know, how to know how much can I delay an activity without affecting my, my p-value, my confidence level, um, or seeing, you know, a net point style view right inside net risk. Uh, 